Evening, it's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the Monday's trading session, end of day, the 13th of February 2017. Oh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the actual uh, end of day stats for the European session. The uh, European uh, markets uh, certainly impressive, up to 20 points for the FTSE. Up 0.28%, the DAX up 107 points, again negating any political concerns via France, Germany, obviously Frexit, Brexit, Brexit, and uh, also ignoring the uh, stronger inflation data today as well. The CAC 40 up 60 points, the FTSE MIB up 202 points, whopping 202 points up a percentage. IBEX up a percentage as well, stock 600 certainly doing well too. Now the US equity market, its markets continue their surge higher. Obviously, uh, putting in potentially uh, new highs for the uh, for the year or for multi-year highs. Okay, so certainly has to be respected for now. I'm mean, very very impressive move thus far. U.S. equities certainly defying gravity and defying any negative news as well. Okay, now in terms of uh, news flow, uh, certainly you did sum up the uh, a weaker or bearish argument over the weekend, given the Frexit, Brexit, and Brexit concerns given the political uncertainty in France and given the uh, left-wing radical extremism party, party certainly gaining ground, populism as well, that in and of itself certainly is uh, considered to be bearish now. Also given the fact that the wholesale inflation data certainly came in on a year-on-year -year basis at 4%, a whopping 4%, again raising tapering phase and sending the euro higher. Obviously that hasn't had any effect at all. I mean the market certainly has ignored that altogether and you can see the German DAX. I mean the German DAX today certainly pushed higher, uh, certainly pushed higher, especially in the daily chart now you are negating the potential H&S formation. You have put a topping tail in at gap fill which is around the 11, uh, 8, 10 zone, okay, looking for a lower high and then obviously looking to potentially push and thrust lower, okay, so just bear that in mind. 60 minute chart, you are looking at gap fill resistance here at 11,813. Certainly, gap fill has uh, has certainly closed. Okay, again, you're looking for the gaps lower now, 11,670 and potentially lower. So, certainly watch out for those gaps below in terms of the uh, the actual uh, DAX itself. 10 minute chart, you certainly have uh, this expanding rising potential wedge. Okay, let's just see. I mean, it's currently diag diag from a diag. Diagonal perspective, it certainly has uh, negated, okay, so whether or not this is going to continue, I mean, you can certainly see this bull flag, or but, should we say bullish channel, okay, whether or not it breaks down, goes below, closes the gaps below, is another question altogether. Now, given the fact that the markets certainly are ignoring any bearish arguments at present, okay, certainly focusing on the bullish arguments thus far, okay, and today was a very, very impressive move in Europe, very, very impressive, okay, hats off and respect to that. Okay, now, in terms of the... Uh, the actual French CAC as well. Let's just bring up the French CAC again. French CAC certainly defied the odds. I was expecting a lower high. That hasn't been the case. It's certainly pushed above 4905, 4900. Uh, and again, certainly has to be respected. Okay, certainly has to be respected. Now you have left a gap behind at 4830, and there are all the gaps as well. But the uh, the move in the French CAC certainly surprised me today. Um, certainly looking, I was certainly of a bearish argument, uh, certainly looking for a lower high, and that certainly hasn't been the case. Now looking at a 60 minute chart, you clearly have resistance in this zone around the 4900. Again, you do have unfilled gap at 4920, so just bear that in mind. The 10 minute chart, you have the unfilled gap below now at 4830, 4820, and NASDAQ, so, so you see the CAC has certainly broken through the, the ranks here. That previous resistance will equal support here for now if we do come to potentially retrace, okay? In terms of the um, actual FTSE 100, uh, the daily chart did actually hold a FIB 75% at 7290. So again, let's just keep an eye out for that. 60-minute chart, again, has retraced quite powerfully at 7299. It did actually hit 7299. We rejected the 7300. I was expecting a short squeeze above, a short squeeze above to 7320 and that failed to uh, transpire. 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment, you still have uh, previous resistance equals of what, 7275. So any retracement there certainly will be looking to catch a bid. Okay, certainly looking to catch a bid. 60 minute chart at the moment, again, any retracement back to that 7270 zone, you are looking at uh, potential support. Okay, so uh, the Euro stocks now, let's just quickly give you insight on, uh, on Euro stocks. Euro stocks holding gap fill resistance at uh, 3303. Certainly looking to retrace here, still looking for a lower high and holding that FIB 75% resistance. 60 minute chart, certainly have closed gap fill. Okay, impressive thrust higher. Okay, you are looking at resistance in this zone. Okay, 
you'll have resistance up here and up here okay so those are the two zones that you'll be looking for you do have unfilled gap below so let's keep an eye on that at this juncture here you got 3270 gap fill let's see if we uh, actually go back and retest it now if you do retest this resistance here previous resistance equals support 3280 will act as potential support before we attempt to move higher if we move higher on european indices again that's a big if folks okay a big if okay so that certainly seems to be the case in terms of european indices again certainly left baffled as to the uh, the thrust in the german dax today especially given the uh, uh, political uncertainty in france i mean there was riots in paris and uh, certain politicians calling the immigrants scum and asking them to be uh, deported so uh, the un uncertainty the fear the extremism the radicalism the populism certainly is on the rise in europe and from a social perspective it certainly is risk off from a geopolitical uh, perspective it's certainly risk off but markets have other ideas and you have to respect that for now on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now